Wow. Accident almost accidentally hit the end stream button. <laughs> Arafel Asen, welcome. It is I, Vasugi, the small fox and the slavi. Today we can take a look at the homebrew game called Argagis uh, Revolution. Uh, this is not that new. It's um uh, it's I uh, it's apparently made in uh, twenty nineteen. And uh, it uses seven, uh, mode seven style graphics, which is interesting because um, the Mega Drive does not support mode seven. So it will be interesting to see how it plays and how it looks. But yeah, that's about it. He he was okay. Welcome, Mixa. Welcome, welcome. And David, welcome, welcome. It starts and hello, Mixa. Hello, David. Hi, David and Mixa. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you too. Hope you're having a nice weekend. I know that feeling. I've hit the end of stream button before and had to read the stop stream button. <laughs> I wonder what it does. I mean, well, there is stop streaming and end broadcast. So I guess if I hit the stop streaming button, I could like hijack the stream again. But if I hit the end broadcast, I, I think it would stop the whole thing. Then <laughs> I had to do the, the uh, whole thing over again. But we're not going to find out today. <laughs> Maybe next time, when I'm uh, uh, when we are a bit more um, less focused, <laughs> even less focused. Hooray for modern day homebrews! Yes, I am so happy for this. This this game keep these old system as alive. Almost, well, pretty much they actually brought them back to life, I would say, because there was a huge period when uh, games weren't coming for these systems, and now there's, like, so many games, it's hard to keep up, almost. <laughs> oh, also, uh, hit that likes uh, button and subscribe, because you do likes when you say that in the uh, beginning, because, of course, at the beginning, you know if you're gonna like the content or not. <laughs> so there you go. Like and subscribe. It stops streaming, but while it's still st uh, streaming, data will take seconds to us to stop sending, then end stream. Oh, I see. If you continue streaming before that's uh, thirty seconds, run on, continue streaming as normal. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's like um, uh, like if you're having connection issues, it has a period of time to let you reconnect. I can see that. Yeah. And after that, it just uh, you have to start over. I can, I can see that. Yeah, hit that like button, subscribe, like those funny YouTube videos in the end of every video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but apparently you have to say it in the beginning <laughs> for it to push the algorithm, which is weird because uh, yeah, you don't you don't even know what you're seeing. You're already um, being advertised to do. <laughs> ah. Anyway, oh. We have a Discord channel, check it out, link is in the description. Uh, you can follow us on X for stuff, uh, keep up, and uh, the, uh, there's coffee if you want to help support the channel or my art. So check those out. Also, if you want to buy this game, there's links to those too. You can buy the ROM from their itch.io page. Or... Um, if you want a physical copy, go to Mega Cat Studios or Broke Studio. Uh, I think Broke Studio is better for Europeans. Uh, there's no like tax. Uh, Mega Cat Studio is better for US and uh, maybe even the rest of the world. I don't know, but check them out if you want to to get a physical copy of this game and other cool games too. Check them both out. They have lots, lots, lots of cool games. Too many to get. <laughs> Poor wallet. Gift card not included. Yeah, no gift cards here. But, yeah, no gift codes yet. <laughs> so, I think we're gonna jump in and try the game. Uh, hopefully it will work. I... Because, of course, um, as usual... I thought it would be the great time to upgrade the firm firmware of the uh, Mega SG uh, just before the stream. So that's always a good, um, a good uh, decision to do. 
<laughs> this is because it might, might break everything, but I think we're good to go. I think it would have broken already. So, sit down, Navi, please. Yes, thank you. And you need something. That. Yes, that. D A T. That. To play. Yeah, let's go. Run, Carteridge. Uh, run it. Run. Run. There. English, franchise, Espanol. We go with English. And the version we are playing is Mega Cat Studio version. But they are only the publisher. They, they did not make the game. I don't even know who made this game. <laughs> it's a sick. S A I K. Soon it became clear that the U.S. was trying to claim art choices for themselves. The U.S. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Whoa. I should not laugh <laughs> at, at the style. <laughs> I mean, they they uh, did their best, and the the cool thing is they made the game. Um, I always talk about making game, but I never do. So, props to them for making probably everything themselves. So, yeah, well done. This is an animation, full full screen animation. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's not critic it too much. Just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. 2019 SIK. Options. Arkakis reminds me of Arrakis from Doom. Oh, that is true. Arrakis. One of the, uh, the, the, um, I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> guilds? <laughs> Those are some big heads. Mm-hmm. Like children with no X. Mm-hmm. The difficulty in medium speed run. Yeah. I think everything is fine. So let's start from Commander to Len. You've been selected to be the first pilot for our new quadruple uh, truster ship. Given uh, its con uh, unconventional controls, you need to get acquainted to it. It's common training room. Oh no! Unconventional controls. Hey, this is Mika. I'm the engineer of this ship. Oh, Mika, you talk. Cool. It's the first time it'll be in use. Let's test it. Roger. Yeah. Roger. Welcome to pilot training program. Press up and down to move ship forwards and backwards. You're already pressing left or right. We broke the rules. <laughs> Ah, so that's how it works. Okay. Press left or right to move. We, we we already did this. That's okay. Has no neck. Oh no! Oh no! I don't think I have. My head is stuck, or it's very thick neck. Well, where's the po the, the, the bow tie? <laughs> it's around my neck. It's a huge neck. Huge, strong neck. I almost thought you were calling my name, but <laughs> oopsie. Press A and C to turn the ship around. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's so cool. So that's the Mode 7 style graphics, I see. This is your basic weapon, the phaser. Press P to... Oh, what? Skipped it already. Okay, so this control method, it makes sense. It's like, kind of like the right side... <laughs> is the turning and shooting and the left side is the moving movement makes sense It's the wide facer. It's strong version of your face The hut to the left changed to reflect the upgrade. Oh, so we have upgrades cool You will find upgrades for your ships scattered around So cool so cool I might know how it's done. Well, one thing is it's a small screen. But I think... Because uh, the 
It's really basic shape still. It's probably made from like sprites being turned slightly and slightly and slightly and just repeated in a clever pattern to make the illusion. But well done. The energy meeting gets the ship just good in If your ship takes damage, search for hearts to recover. Makes sense. Even these rubbles. They don't turn, but they change the orientation to give you the illusion. Oh, that's clever. This is the SNES mode. No, mode 7 here. Yeah, no, mode 7, but very well done. This is what that process it looked like. Indeed, yeah. This is nice that they, they like, learn new ways to uh, take um, advantage of the hardware. So it's always nice to see. In a real mission, you will navigate uh, more complex locations. The ship provides automatic feature in case you get lost. Access the map, press mode button. Oh, one of the few cases you need to use the mode button. <laughs> You can also press the start one and select with the up now to start up your exit this northeast. Good luck. But the thing is, I'm using a um, video controller. So what button is the mode? Try everything. There's three buttons in the center. One of them up access the menu. Be careful with that. Oh there we go. Okay, so it's, so it's like the button under, under the start. Oh, new. Yeah, not that one. That opens the menu. Okay, I think we're good to go. And I guess you need to destroy all these to move on. Simple enough. There's another game that kind of has the the mode seven style of uh, system in place too. That's another new game uh, called um, what is it? the Red Zone. We should take a look at this sometime. It's, it's a pretty cool game. It's hard, but it's cool. Uh, but, but it implements a different me uh, way to have the, to, the. I think it's called Z rotation. Anyway, this is your first mission as pilot of the ship. Our spies have learned that the enemy has been storing a, a new weapon in the airport warehouse. Your mission is to steal the weapon. The steel. We like steel. <laughs> we intend to let Mika adapt to your ship. Oh, that's the name. Yeah, Mika. Don't <laughs> cough in between. Make <laughs> Commander here! This is an enemy warehouse. Commander here! <laughs> That's nice to have. Actually, dialogue here. So cool. Which way is north, by the way? There's no compass. Oh, barrels. Oh, thanks. Okay, now now we're getting enemies, so now it's serious. Full health. Save it. If we, if we can, even. Well, we probably can. So, chain. Probably can't pass through the chain. Yeah, the chain is the, uh, the um, shuttle's uh, weakness. No chains. It's like for cows, they put chains, <laughs> chains around. The uh, the uh, area the, the spaceship doesn't leave. You wanna capture a spaceship? Changed. Now we know. What's that? It's probably a checkpoint. Control is pretty good. I, I think this is this was a clever, actually good, good like um, 
choice to, 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 to how to control the ship. The other one would be like the D-pad to turn and uh, move forward and back. I don't think that would have worked this nicely. Now you kind of have like a right st stick. It's the C and A buttons. <laughs> it's the right stick. It's pretty clever. It's another one of these. Or is that the mission objective? Could be the mission ob objective too. I wonder how much health the heart actually gives. It's like half, if it's half of the health, we should like come pick them up later. Machine down. Oh, it goes on. Wait a minute, now we have puny weapons. Can we get weapons from these barrels? No. I kinda like the music too. It's pretty simple, but it works. Destroying the barrels, even if they don't give you items, it uh, tells us where they've been. Been here. We've been everywhere. Not I. Well, not here. <laughs> oh, they can't open the doors. Interesting. Plaster. Okay. <coughs> I wonder if it resets every stage. Checkpoint. Another checkpoint. Those are definitely the mines from before. Lots of rooms with just barrels. It seems interesting. Like almost like they have a purpose, but I guess they don't. Okay, hard there. Okay, we are at full health. See how you can get disoriented here pretty quickly, but at least there's the map. So I can't really complain. Got lucky there.
pick it up. So I guess it's max upgrade. So hell. Yeah, I can't pick it up either. You already left one health item behind. So if we do need... Oh, what's this? A lot of noises! <gasps> Duty! Is it a boss fight? <gasps> Ready? Okay. Focus, focus. Pretty simple, but it is the first boss, of course. It's simple. Oh, anyway, I think it's going faster. Oh boy, it has a lot of help. Oh, okay, so it is changing patterns. Now it's to randomly. Boy, how much health does it have? Are we doing something wrong here? No, that's it. Okay, cool. Complete. To base. Mission complete! <sighs> Hi, this is Mika. The weapon you uh, retrieved from the warehouse was has been modded. Uh, modified you adapt to work with your chef come to training room and give it a try Yay thumbs up So is there a lot of training? <laughs> does they does she always talk like that? Ooh. It's like a humming attack Roger Oh, I like that sound. Oh, arrows. You guys should target even if they are in your aim. Oh. Cool. And does it target the target you want it to target? Or does it target all the wrong targets? This weapon is particularly useful for moving targets. Oh, I can see. Pretty cool. Oh, these things. This person seems to get confused by these sparks. You may need to resort to another weapon if this happens. There's a face in the room nearby. Oh, so they, they are like a... Distraction thingies. Okay, I see. Can we still make it work? And also... No, <laughs> Neo can't. But we can do this. <laughs> nice. Switch weapon between... Yeah, we got that. This is the end of this training room round. Good luck. Hi, hi. We have reports of enemy presence in uh, Archaean Desert along with drilling uh, of minerals. Your mission is to go to investigate what's going on. This is Lynn. I'm at the destination. Awaiting response. Commander here. According to our report, the enemy is drilling in this zone. Please investigate. Roger. Remember, use the map in Meaning, yeah, uh, I reached the end of the stage. <clears throat> okay, with the map. Not kids anymore. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's faster enemies. We 
we get the harming thing, yes? Didn't, didn't, didn't guide towards that, why? Interesting. Checkpoint. This weapon is great. You just shoot somewhere. I don't know what these are, but you can destroy them, so of course we destroy them. Upgrade, but let's use the, the guided mag uh, humming thingy. As it makes things way easier. Maybe. <laughs> we haven't yet encountered those sparks like you. Just follow the bullets. Or aren't they supposed to be like the barrels? Kinda lost. Oh, mines, these are new. We must be on the right path. Silly weapon, there's nothing. Here it works <laughs> against us. There's some situation, but we shall see how many. Oh, also low health. So be careful. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you get full refill. Okay. Cool. Cool. That means you should pick up the health uh, when you're um, just one hit away from losing, I guess. The right path. Dun, dun. Wait a minute. Or are these the same mines we already? Yeah, I know. There's more open space. And enemies, yes. Oh, look out for those. <laughs> Do we have lies or how does this work? Explosion! Duty! Oh no, we're trapped! Also lose the weapon. It's interesting that you lose your weapons always and like... Many games do that. It's uh, very strange. Uh, 
like a choice to to make your always lose your weapons. It's, it's and it's not even the next mission. weapon. Nice. Noish. Kind. I wonder do the sparks hurt you, but I'm guessing yes. They're not just for to, to mess with the, the humming weapon. We left one health behind already, so good to go. So many enemies. Oof. Oh no. We should head back and pick up one of the hell items. I do like that the, the turning is very fast, but you, you can still do pretty precise hits. This is... I think this is going back. Yeah, let's go pick the health item now. Should we go... Yeah. There, there was one way back, but I think this is fine. Just have to be careful. And there's another health item. Oh, oh well. <clears throat> New territory. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this is record. Target location. Record. Are you the bad guy? It's a good, sh cool ship, though. And they take our weapons away again. Oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Why did they take your weapons away? Unless there's like hidden weapons somewhere here. There's health. Okay, good to know. Yeah, there's no weapons. Okay, where's the thing? Oh! Of course it's next to you. It's actually very useful now that <laughs> this weapon, we don't even have to... How far are we? We'll probably hit, hit it pretty far too. Ooh. Help. Okay, now just focus on avoiding the ninja stars. Sure you can! Just to work. Yeah. Okay, it's not you. And boom, goes the thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Our spies reported that the extract minerals from the desert are sent to an enemy laboratory for refinement. Your mission is to interfere with its operations. 
interest points will be at sewers. Hi, 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 hi. Question Come mark. Over here. This is an enemy laboratory. This place is heavily guarded. You'll sneak in through the sewers. Roger. Sewers. We see crocodiles. It's pretty pretty uh, a blick. Obligatory to have sewer levels, but uh, I wouldn't have guessed they put it here. Point. Just health there, okay. Also, again, it took away our weapons. Is it, yeah, really, we will we are we'll, we'll, we'll choice to take your weapons away. There's more health there. Okay, we have at least two health pickups again. Wait a minute, let's check the map. Does it show... It only shows where we are. Also, password, and that's nice. Oh, that was easy. So I had to check one thing. Oh, those pants are cool. <laughs> they did shifting around to make it look like it's uh, turning, but it's not. But it's pretty clever. <clears throat> Cleverly made. Graphics. Oh, so anyway. Many enemies. That's that too, that uh, they could still put so many enemies here roaming around. And it runs fast. So, yeah. Pretty impressed how this plays. Oh, you can't shoot past the plants. Okay, I see. Some tough plants for your space ship weapons. It's, it's kind of nice that the enemies, they don't just wait. Wait, what is this? They just don't wait uh, beside the door. Because that, that would pretty much mean you open it and you get hit right away. I mean, it's nice that they start uh, moving around. Power up. I think we've been here. Check the map. Doesn't really tell anything. <laughs> I think we've been here. Hmm. Oh, haven't been here. Just health.
Did we start here? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hello, Vesuki and everyone. Welcome, Z-Saber. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing fine this lovely Sunday. Well, it's not... It's kind of dark. Well, at least it's not snowing anymore. I've had enough of snow. <laughs> Go away. Leave us alone. Give us summer. This seems different from any Genesis game I've seen. Oh, that is true, yeah. It has... This kind of turning... Whole sc screen turning thing, like a uh, Mode 7 kind of graphics. It's interesting. Oh, more enemies. So, yeah, it is, very, it is very different. Nice that they can find new ways to... Uh, uh, they... Like, use the hardware. It's interesting. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> this is very disorienting. And there is a map? But what does... It doesn't really... Like it, okay, it shows pretty much what you see already. <laughs> you can't scroll it or anything. Or do you have to press it to scroll it? Try it. Yeah, Neo. Ca cannot scroll or anything. So this this map... Which the commander to to tells us that like, has told us already like twice or th three times that... Remember to check the map if you get lost! Okay, cool. Also new enemies, that means we are making progress. But yeah, the map doesn't really help if it doesn't show where to go. So why aren't we using the homing attack? Doors are locked. Checkpoint. It doesn't really work. The, the humming attack doesn't work. Oh, we were already at max this weapon. Oh, no. It's, it's kind of smooth rotation. It's pretty smooth, and the whole game runs pretty smooth. There can be a bunch of enemies in the screen, too. And it was like a nice, uh, neat uh, spire enemy, too, with like moving legs and stuff. So pretty, pretty cool that it runs so fast, e even though it's pretty un unusual <laughs> for the Genesis Mega Drive. Last time? I do wonder what the boss is. Seems the bosses are pretty cool. Like, uh, again, clever use of the, the hardware. We shall see. Oh, it's just m uh, room done. But I didn't like the fact that, yeah, they take all your weapons away each time you make progress. That I don't like. At least it gives us this right away, but still. Wait, this was the first level boss. Not that hard, just... With this weapon, it's not hard. Spam it. But it did take quite many hits, so this might take a while.
bagno Okay, that didn't work, that didn't work. Oh no, oh no. We have to actually have to battle it. <laughs> shooting randomly, that's the, that's the hardest part. Hardest phase of it, when it starts shooting randomly. Oh, oh, barely made it. Barely made it. Cool, okay. Health, please? Or can we just exit? Uh, no touchy. I, I, I don't think... This is Lynn's mission complete. Let's oh, there we go. The base. Hey, that's what, what, uh, what we were supposed to do, I see. But yeah, interesting uh, recycled boss. No. Not interesting. <laughs> hey, Lynn, we're done developing a new weapon. And it's, of course... Uh, and of course, I took care of fitting it into your ship. Come to the training room. Oh, a new weapon. This voice acting, <laughs> yeah, th that is cool. That is cool thing. Everything is actually actually vo voice recorded. All this line, that's, that's cool. So there's some neat uh, tech here. <laughs> Pushing the tech. That could have been useful in the cave. <laughs> Let's test. Oh. Okay, it's slow, but probably super powerful, I'm guessing. If the door refuses to open, you can blast it open instead. Ooh, I like that. Oh, okay, so so it, they're not like locked by keys, you just blast them. <laughs> this weapon is so powerful, it's protected with, with fruit targets. Try aligning your aim against Roll of targets. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. This weapon has long uh, charge period between shots. If you need shot, uh, shoot off and consider switching to another weapon. Hi, hi. This is the end of the training session. Good luck. Boom. <laughs> While you were in the labs, we followed the trainers and learned that the chemicals are transported to a weapons factory. Your mission is to go uh, to the factory and stop each operation. Uh, translation destroy this is Lynn. seek and destroy Nation, come on down here this is an enemy weapons factory according to our report the chemicals are transported here this place is heavily guarded be careful heavily guarded lots of destroy oh no the the Spaceship blocking chains again. So yeah, if you wanna keep the spaceship UFOs out of your uh, house, let's chain it up. This uh, seems that the spaceships can go through fences. There's like you can almost see that there's like a wooden pole and just chain, and your spaceship can go through it. So yeah. Now we know. Spaceships don't work with the chains. Oh, interesting. Do they have like a sight? Yeah, then they follow. So, so you can kind of sneak too. It's interesting.
What about the chain? Oh, the chain. Chain. It's more powerful than the charge attack. And we're gonna save the heart. Just in case we get hit more. Oh, no. Oh, I think we got chain. Ba 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 Yeah. Did we pick it up? Oh, no. Okay, there you go. Get the checkpoint. So, expect enemies. Upgrade this one. Oh, it's only the, the base phaser. Ah, no, no. Wish you could make this even more powerful. Unlimited power. That's what we prefer. Infinite power. But the game says no. Good enough. Deal with it. Oh, that was a lucky shot. I mean, pure skill. <laughs> Let me use this. It's a bit faster. So, well, this just does get, take care of the enemies faster, kind of. No. <laughs> nice, nice. Escaped. Checkpoint. That begs the question: What's on the other side? Health item and mines. Don't want the mines and don't want the health right now. Great. So many of these the heavy weapon pickups, but um since you can only pick it once, it's kinda useless. <laughs> Still I still kinda like this one. Because you can just keep shooting and or find the targets on its own. Unless you need to do this. I do like the fact that the, all the weapons have dedicated button. It's not not scrolling through weapons. It's it, you have a button for each weapon you want to choose, so you can choose any weapon you want right away without the. Uh, and just scroll. And yeah, in general, I, I said it before, but the control is very good. Like the, the control is like I don't know it. it, it it's right away something you get used to. It's not that weird at all, even though like Mega Drive Genesis didn't have this type of games. You would think that okay, because you have movement everywhere and turning might be hard, but yeah, it was actually very clever. Oh, sleeve. 
There's no point in collecting power-ups because you get your health back each time you enter a room. Also, you lose your, all your weapons, so it, there's no no point in uh, exploring. Is this another boss? Huh. Oh, that's so cool. Of course, they are in this wolf set. Oh, dodging. Oh, sorry, we. Oh! So sorry to hear uh, that you are still having Wi Fi issues. Next up. It's not stable at the moment, but it'll be back soon. That reminds me of Gunsta here. <laughs> really? I love the humming of Taxi. I love it too. It, the, 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 that makes the. Uh, that's probably the most useful weapon here. There's one charge shot, but I feel the humming is uh, the, the most interesting one. Music has not. <laughs> no right thing to go so good here. But it is very good, yeah. I think they did, did many aspects of the game very well. Oh, okay, so we have to have to be smart, I guess. Oh no, just go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Homebrews have this unwritten rule. They must have tracks on the same level of Pictionary. <laughs> oh, you mean the NES Pictionary? Yeah. Oh man, that 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 one has an awesome <laughs> soundtrack. Like wow, <laughs> why? <laughs> Such a simple, stupid game. <laughs> Team fooling a squeeze stuff here. That's some great tracks. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they did so well with, with the music and, and in general, yes. With many aspects of the game because it's it's so unique. Interesting. Journey has no right having such amazing soundtrack. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just a, such a stupid game. But man, yeah, the music rocks. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tim Foley made just amazing music license to the adaptation of a board game. <laughs> mm. I mean, there... There are probably some other games that I can't think of any right now that have great music, but... They don't play so well. Oh man. But yeah, there are those. <laughs> so interesting. Why do you have this system here? There's nothing in the center. There's no point in going here. Oh, is it to... to, to if you have the homing... It will mess up the homing attack. Okay, now we're getting into it. Interesting territory. Ooh. Direct hit. This is Len. Oh. Come. This is Ricard. I knew it's a bus. Oh, it's a Richard again. Hello. Oh, now you have a Jabba. The spider enemy was pretty cool. We meet again. And it again took all our weapons away. It's so cool. Oh, but we get the homie. Okay, cool, cool. Now we get rid of the barrels. Please. The health pickup, but the health pickup uh, fills your life all the way, so you should only take it when you're uh, pretty much uh, done for. We just find an infinite uh, survival pattern, I think we did.
hope it doesn't change the pattern that's when we when we I can't adapt fast enough Nah, I think it's good it gotta do this Mission five. This is the final mission. Oh, already? With the uh, supplies weakened, we're going to break into the um, enemy mother base and destroy it. With the help from our Spice and Mika, we develop a malware that could blow up the reactor. Good luck. Destroy. Destroy. <laughs> Did you know me, Kirk? Hmm. We make malware. Call me when you get there. Gonna wear jingle. Okay. Entering. Final stage. Okay, the tingle is weird. This is pretty cool. Uh, kind of looking out of this ship. The stars moving. Kind of cool. Very, very clever use of their engine. Oh, homing attack. Yes, cool. Okay. Now we got this. We basically won. <laughs> Let's save that heart for later. Just have to remember where it is. Best here. We need the charge shot. But yeah, there's no not much point in exploring. You pretty much have to have to make uh, progress because to lose all your weapons and even the health resets. You just find the exit or, or do the thing that it's asking you. There's probably one last big boss, I'm guessing. Even though the mission said something that uh, destroyed the reactor or something. So can upgrade these weapons. Be nice to kind of have. You can upgrade the phaser, but not the other weapons. Would be nice to have like one one extra upgrade. Oh, there we go, maxed. Thing is maxed. We have everything. Ooh, checkpoint. And it's gonna take all the weapons away again before the boss. Oh. Is of course. Health pickup. Already have the, the other one saved. End of line. Hmm. Running in circles now. 
the 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 usual method of uh, with mazes, you, you you just follow the left side or right side to find the end. Usually works with these type of games, but um, but if the thing is in the center, then it doesn't work. The thing where you need to go it only works if 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 the whole map is uh, designed around. You're go going like to the other side of the stage or something, but if it's on the center, then, then it doesn't really work. That makes any sense. And he, well, there is the map, but... <sighs> the map doesn't really do anything. It's not even much bigger than the, the screen you see, it's like probably, well it is a little bit bigger, okay fine, but not that big. Did we, we, we entered from this, uh, this checkpoint, okay. Or did we? Yeah we did, okay, so. It's beyond this point. I guess we can go back and pick up the health item. It was somewhere... Somewhere... It's too far away. Oh, enemies. Okay, maybe we were wrong. Oh, I also... Unbroken door. New checkpoint, okay. We were, we were just exploring the wrong area, okay. Check. Well, there's no point really checking, so. Well, they're, they're curious still. <laughs> curious, but there's no point because we have all the weapons again. There's another checkpoint here. This is definitely a new area. something Nearing the end. And what are those things? We're destroying them, but I think. Well, it might be that the, 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 end, the end is actually not accessible unless you destroy those things. But... Fresh, fresh enemies. <laughs> A corner shot. We're, we're being like special forces when we're doing corner shots. Okay, don't do that. In 
interesting. Because there was no warning. And we lost our old weapons, but if this is the end of the stage, it doesn't matter even. be so cool if we fight a boss right after this. But we didn't. Okay, now it's probably boss time. Oh, yo. I can hear it. It's walking. What is it? We meet again. It's another spider. It's not even a new enemy, but it is a cool enemy. You we meet again. Me last time, but I'll take revenge. Revenge! We only have the puny weapon. Oops! Should have not picked that up yet. Can we even get anything better? Please? Please? Anything better than this? Also funny that the last boss you fight, you have to fight the weakest weapon. I kind of have a runny nose, though. <laughs> Probably. We can do this. That seems to work. It looked like we're shooting in curve, but <laughs> we really aren't. It's moving. It's very cool. It's 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 a really cool movement, by the way. That's the sprite rotation, but for all its legs, it's pretty neat. Uh, tech tech wise, this game is very cool. Oh no! It's probably done for soon enough. Smoking, smoking. Smoking! There we go. Was that it? Hmm. Disappointed. <laughs> not amused. Lynn's not amused. Oh, it goes on, okay. Choose your weapon. <laughs> it's a humming. Oh, we can take all of them. <laughs> so you're the pet there we go. Getting in our way. Oh, okay, final boss, final, final boss. At least it's something new. What? Don't you like freedom? I'm going freedom? To lesson, dirty rat. Don't you like freedom? I'm gonna teach you a lesson, a dirty rat. Oi. Why not look at it? Pretty cool. Again, like just so much rotating stuff. It's impressive. Pretty easy. Just keep shooting and moving at the max speed to the left and turn a little bit. I think we're safe. Ah, but see, the homing is not. It's changing its target. Okay, I see. So you have to do this. Scarier, they're so close shots, but we're safe. How do we get the other other um, turrets? So we have to use like this, maybe? It will go past it.
this one is better. Just keep shooting. Not having to have perfect aim. There we go. How do we get the last one? Oh, I guess we have to circle the runner one out of the way this way. Oopsie. Switch to weapon up by accident. Yeah, like this, I guess. We're taking kits sometimes. That's not good. Okay, what now? What now? Oh, we have to destroy it again. Oh, no. Not more. The shots. Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> so we have to be a little bit closer. Ah. Oh, final boss? Yeah, it's just the final boss. So you're the pet who keeps getting in the way. What? I'm so do we have to like double destroy them? Let's try it this way. I don't even know if we have lives, so we might have like infinite continues, that's nice. Yeah, it still takes damage, so we, yeah, we should keep shooting at it, even though the turret is down. It's as, at least it's slashing. Okay, now it's like destroyed for real, I think. Oh. Wait, why is... It... Oh, because... Okay, Hitting the shoulder button, that's why. Okay, there you go. The shoulder button has, like, double function. It's not... It's the, the, the 8 bit controller... Like a Drive Genesis controller? Uh, it's it's made for, like, a multi-purpose. It's, it's not just Mega Drive. You can use it for, like, modern consoles too, I think. That's why uh, you have, like, extra buttons. The repeated buttons. If you hold the controller wrong, you hit the shoulder buttons and they, they press like C button or something. You know, something you don't want to do. We now use just the homing attack. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Just a little more, a little more. Come on, come on. I wonder if he still has some face. Will it like shoot from the center? Okay, what to do now? What to do now? Shoot, but if the 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 homing doesn't target it, okay. Well, that helps, so just focus on not getting hit. You will hit ev eventually. Just focus on not getting hit yourself. Oh, no. That, like, one hit away from losing. Ah! Got this, we got this! My Wi Fi issues well in time. Destroy the boss off screen, though. Would be nice to see the explosion. Oh, there we go.
All right. All right. We can still go on. I guess we can imagine there's a, another enemy. And we destroyed that too. Hmm. It's a computer screen. Mika, this is Len. It's like in Metal Gear for the NES. <laughs> oh, defeat its boss. Yeah, we just defeated its last boss. Nice. Thank you. Slim, I'm at the terminal. Please. Beep. It said a bad word. Beep. Flee. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's out of flea. I thought we had a timer. Core temperature rising. Core unstable explosion imminent in meaning end. USC. Boom. And that's it. I think it's short it's a short game, if that it was it. But it did say earlier that final mission. And the 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 staff roll title screen. Ooh. So that was Arkagi's uh, revolution. Um, not bad. Actually, pretty fun. Nice. Uh, yeah, everything definitely nice graphics, nice music. Uh, some of the enemies that were pretty cool, like uh, the spider one. Really well done. Um, it's a bit short. It's very short. It's very, very, very short. Uh, are you sure this is the end? It seems so. <laughs> the end. I was gonna have a half an hour and we'll get done. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It's pretty short. It's pretty short. Just five missions. Um, Still pretty fun. Pretty fun. Yeah, very short. So... I don't know what else to say. <laughs> control was good. They, they, they implemented control nicely. And yeah, it is something you don't really see on the uh, Genesis Mega Drive. So neat. Neat that they, they keep it alive with the... Uh, the Mega Drive alive. <laughs> Genesis alive. Bringing games like this. So yeah. Cool. Not disappointed. Not disappointed. But it was a bit short. Could, could have been longer. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We played it on the medium setting. I wonder. Yeah, we played it on this. There's a, there's a harder mode though. Speedrun mode. I don't think I. I think I. I don't think I care to try again, though. However, there's a new game coming from this comp. Uh, this team, I believe. I think we could could check the d demo of the next game. It's also very impressive. I'm gonna check it out right away. Is there any different mounts? Any sequels? Such a waste of potential. I don't think there is. This is every. It's. But yeah, there is a sequel game coming, but it, it it plays completely different. So there's no like um. <laughs> Revolution uh, X. <laughs> there's not no continuation with this system, because I I think that the, because the engine is there, you could do more with it. I wonder, do you happen to own Dune? Battle for Arrakis. Yeah, we, I think we do. We, we do own it. Now, what was the name? I think... I think I put it in tech demos. Arrakis Escape. That is the sequel they are working on. However, there's no update, updates like in a year, so I don't know if the project is, is abandoned. 
But this one is a nice engine too. This is the trial version. Yeah, it's not finished. It's by Sekioi, so it's, it's from the same company. It has the same feel. Options. Game difficulty, that's fine. Video. Dithering. You? Well, that's fine. But it's nice to have options. Smooth rotation, hands. There's plenty of options here. To Rayman. So here we go. What do you need, huh? <laughs> it's pretty cool graphics. It, I think it's, this is called. Uh, is it the, the, it's not Vector vor Vortex? No. No, it's. um. Voxel. Voxel, I think it's called. Yeah. This works surprisingly well. It doesn't look the best, but you can still make it out. It's it's still pretty cool. More Arcagis, hooray, huh? This game is 3D. It's it is kind of 3D, yeah. Very cool, huh? So this is what spice harvesting is in our arcade. Oh, it's sandstorm. Yeah, that's how it is. Jump over these things. But yeah, this this is like a like 3D game. This is pretty cool. But yeah, no updates in a year or anything. I hope they they didn't uh, give up on the project. Project. What's that? This is probably gonna hurt you. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Watch out for the pets. I know that much. But the thing is, you pretty much have to play from the map. It's a better, better way to play the game. It's hard to tell everything that's happening on the screen. It's easier to tell from the map. You have the pits. And walls you have to break. Like that wall is breakable, but it's hard to tell sometimes. Well, from the map you can tell it's a breakable wall. This reminds me of Bloodshot, not gonna lie. Kinda, yeah, but kinda no. Because Bloodshot is... Uh, Array cast engine, so it's like Wolfenstein. This is this uses a completely different engine. You're gonna have object here and things like that. It's very cool, but you can't look up and down because the engine will break. Watch it, it's better, but it's admired to see how they modern whole day homebrew. I mean, Bloodshot is very clean. Bloodshot is very clean shooter. That that I like. Straightforward, clean. It has its own issues. One is with the the, the um... Thank you. What did we do? Minor rescue. Oh, it was a minor. Okay. Hmm. Let me go back. Maybe you just fall on the pit because I think it takes you back. I've tried this before. Oh, it's it's it takes you back, yeah. But if you've been here, you go back to here. I see, I see. Can also kind of getting Ultima dungeon vibes from this, especially from Ultima Four, where the dungeons are shaded like this brown and purple box. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This again. Oh, yeah, this this company is cool that they are trying, trying a uh, new tricks with the Mega Drive. That's so cool. Like, what is what is really possible? 
Yeah, it would be difficult to know your way around without the map. It's very place everything which looks the same. Exactly, yeah, it's very hard to tell. And there's weird openings like everywhere. Like like there, you think you can turn right from the here. But no, it's 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 not. It's not it's just um opening in the, the cave I guess. But yeah, it's it's not, not like you can't go there. Yeah, it's neat. It's neat. I miss grinding to get old character stats 99 when defeating Lord Poor. British is no avail. <laughs> oh man, sometimes grinding is so fun, but other times it. When you come back to a game, it's sometimes so annoying. I just can see that. A secret here. Onyo. Onyo. <laughs> okay, yet you have infinite lives, I guess. Yeah, in a sense, it's very, very, uh, uh, like Raycast. It's called Raycast graphics. It's hard to explain, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like Wolfenstein. It's, it's, it's 2D, but it represents you like a 3D view. And this is pretty much the same. The whole, the whole game is probably the map. But it's 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 uh, it's showing you this 3D look, just to to make it look interesting. But the whole game is actually the the 2D map. I don't even know what the point is. We, we rescued one miner, so maybe we just have to explore everything. Don't see anything. Oh, help! So it's supposed to be like laying down. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a. Look like a. Uh, what was it supposed to be? Minor? I guess it's like laying down. Thank you. Two miners rescued. One more to go. And that's pretty much the limitation of this engine. You you can't have objects in the space. It has to come from the top or bottom. So so you have to have it laying down. It can't be standing. <laughs> or else it would just be a stick. Pretty interesting. But again, it's interesting to see this is like what what is cap what is possible. I don't get what the what the point is with the fans. You just walk over them. 
still can't believe I played Pocha as a kid without getting scared of the enemies. I was pretty young too, but... Pocha wasn't that scary in my opinion either. Maybe a little bit, but I, I don't... I always felt Doom was pretty scary, but not Bloodshot, really. I don't know why. An enemy in the 3D screen absolutely frightening when it makes noise absolutely hysterical. Yeah, especially like, yeah, when it sees you. Oh, I did pretty early on figure out one uh, mistake. Um, not mistake, one, one feature about the Bloodshot. One, uh, one feature. I mean, um, I'm trying to say. One, one flaw of the engine, uh, of the bloodshed. I noticed one, one thing, pretty early on, and that kind of broke the illusion for me, I guess. Which was that uh, the enemies only spot you if you look at them. So if you don't want this, want the enemies to spot you, look at the walls. Yeah, they they don't spot you if you look at the walls in Bloodshot. And if you turn around, you can be next with the boss enemy. They don't react to you at all. But if you turn around and look at it, then they then they notice you and start shooting you. But yeah, that uh, that. That pretty much broke the illusion for me. <laughs> so they, they have to, yes. You have to see them in order for them to see you. <laughs> My childhood nightmare was the imp. <laughs> I don't know, for me, it's the, the, like, Doom, Doom ha did it perfect, like. Just the, the uh, enemies roaming and making this noise when they're trying to catch you. I mean, they're looking for uh, for you. I don't think any other game re 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 rep replicated that so well. Even Bloodshot, uh, it doesn't really make noise when the, the enemies spot you. They, they make a noise when they spot you, yeah? But when they're looking for you, it doesn't make sound. They, they only keep shooting. They only keep shooting. And, and they stop for... After, if they can't shoot you in a few seconds, they stop. Cyber Demon, yeah. You do do the voice voice design, like, perfectly. There's a video about where, where they cut all the vo voices from. Uh, by... I think the YouTuber is called the the the, the Zeno or something, and some of them are like animal noises from a like well not free but from like voice bank for game developers and just highly edited and it's very interesting. It's very interesting how where they get all the sound effects. Of course, the uh, the m most famous the the. Um, is it called Icon of Sin? The, the very last boss of Doom 2? It's just reversed and... Uh, make it made, made, made gritty. But it says something like, this is John Camaro. And you have to shoot the head to win or something. Okay, what now? You ex saved everyone? Let's just walk back. We are walking on nothing. No sunshine.
There's also a bloodshot for a Mega CD, but um, I feel it's not as good. It, because uh, I think the, the, the Mega Drive version is actually like the perfect length. Uh, the, the Mega CD version has more stages, but uh, I do feel it like goes on for too long. And the, the problem is it doesn't save, so you have to play it on one go. Uh, it's a really long shooter. FPS game, so yeah, I don't. I prefer the. It, it has better music. Of course, it's CD audio track, so it has better sound in general. But um, but yeah, it, it is too long. I I, I prefer the Mega Driver. It, it's not bad. There's more ambient sound, but um. Oh, loud explosion. Eh? Is boss? To be continued. And that is... Agaki's escape. But yeah, no news. So I, I wonder if they are going on with this. But it's this nice tech demo. And there we go. So we played both of the, the Agaki's games, I guess. We beat the full game and the, the, this trial we tried it. I think we go. There's not much else to do, so we can put the controller down. And we'll head back. Not here. But here! This place! Ooh, it's new and... No, it's the same. <laughs> no upgrades yet. <laughs> I still don't answer why we're taking this turn off for. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we were rescuing the, the others who take the turn off before us and got stuck. So, the lesson is don't take a turn or uh, take a tur tunnel in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> That's the lesson here, folks. So, yeah. Arkagis reminds me of Dune in a way. Like, the setting is a bit Dune, yeah. But yeah, we do have Dune... Uh, Battle of Arrakis, or what it was called. I think we have it. I don't know if you can stream. It's a strategy game, and it plays pretty much like... If you played... Uh, if, if you guys don't know, it's it's kind of like Command and Conquer. It's from Westwood. So it is like early, early, early version of uh, Red Alert or uh, Command and Conquer, kind of. I don't know if it's a good game to stream. I, I, I have a bad habit of playing um, that kind of strategy games. <laughs> uh, in a way, I, I just like building. Building and maximizing my armies and then, then attacking with max army. But it takes so long, it's kind of pointless. I, I, I guess I play those games like Sims. <laughs> Sims City or something like that. And it's not point of the game. The point of the game is to <coughs> build an army quick. Kill the base, an army quick, and attack. When uh, when your enemy is not prepared. But yeah, I, pl I played those games wrong. I just like building stuff. Making a huge base. And upgrading everything. And having these huge armies. So the, the enemies cannot do anything. <laughs> Maybe if, if we um, really put the, put the mindset that, okay, we have to beat this. Maybe we could play it, but yeah, maybe later. Maybe, maybe. Pretty cool game. Thanks for streaming. Thank you, David. It was, it the, it was pretty cool. It's one of a kind for Mega Drive. I like that. And again, if you wanna buy it, links are in the description. You, you can get the physical copy or the ROM. Uh, it's a bit short, in my opinion. So maybe the ROM would be a good choice if you wanna try it. Get the flash card, which, which we played the uh, Arkaki's escape demo from. We, we have a flash card. A good way to play and test the demos. But they, those cards are pretty expensive. At least the um, the crits ones. The, the there's uh, like AliExpress sells some cheaper ones, but they have this issue. Um, I've heard. I have not tested, but I've heard that they need to flash the memory of the card every time you load a new game. It takes time. First first of all, it takes time. It loads the games. 
But second of all, flashing uh, actually destroys the memory in time. It's, it's, it, it, there's only a number of amount of times you can flash, then it's obsolete. These crits ones, they are expensive. They're like 200 USD or something. Well, those are cheaper marbles, but but um, they run the game directly from the SD card. So so the there's no flashing, so they should be lasting longer, and it loads the game faster. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it talking about? <laughs> uh, that was pretty nice. They were digging straight it out. Yeah. I'm a huge Command & Conquer fan. I still hope the series will... Uh, make a real return someday. I love it too. I'll... The last good game. Oh, oopsie. Oh no. Oh no, that was bad. That was bad. Pour the uh, drink over my table. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna take, grab some paper. Good thing I have some here. I wonder if I destroyed anything. What? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Conquer, uh, command and Conquer. Uh, the Red Alert uh, Remaster, was it called? Like, that one's pretty neat. However, I don't remember. It, was the AI really that dumb in the game? <laughs> it, it can build buildings in uh, in its own or or um, refinery's way. So it can never get grab any ore or get monies. <laughs> Even if it's on a hard setting. I don't remember it being that stupid. But, but it's... it's, it's uh, my favorite, probably. I wish they did the remake the Red Alert 2. That's probably the best, by the way. I would think about it. I didn't mind for the third one. And then, then the, the new, 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 new one was the mobile game. <laughs> oh, no. Like, oh, no. What did you do? EA Trench Action Game. Oh, no. Bad, bad. But yeah, it's probably my the best EA game of late releases was the uh, remaster of the first Red Alert. <laughs> but yeah, in that one, I too, uh, I played wrong. I, I I just like building stuff. Then when I'm at max power, then we attack, and the, the enemy has no chance. <laughs> but it's fun, good time waster. Doing battle for Arrakis, my most introduction to RTS. Oh, interesting. Mine probably was Red Alert. Commanding Conqueror, Red Alert. I didn't even know that it was there was just Command and Conquer. I just thought it was the series name and Red Alert was the first. I learned later that it, yeah, it's actually not first. It's kind. And yeah, way later I found out the Dune that it was even like early, early version of the game. It has the same same uh, mechanics, but it's just uh, early version of the the same <laughs> same genre, I guess. Hopefully we'll see you play Red Alert after this. Didn't care he was here. He was here. He was hilarious. I don't know. We could play. We, well, we haven't played RTS, but um, I have to. Yeah, yeah. We. I mean, uh, well, it's Navi playing, so <laughs> maybe she. She is uh, more of a action, a action actiony RTS player. So we will attack sooner. <laughs> not not focus on defense. Focus on offense. Red Alert 2, Red Alert 3, Command and Conquer 3, all great. They're all great, but I think my favorite is still the two or the first. They are. Oh, oh, the, uh, oh there's one more I liked. Uh, the the uh, Generals. Command and Conquer Generals. I like that one too. That one's pretty cool. Uh, I have the collection, like, uh, but I don't know if it works. On discs, I do have a disc drive on my PC, but I wonder if it works. I think it's just like a Steam version of that game. Oh no. But that was really good. With, with the expansions, it was really good. <laughs> now, video is gonna be the most tactical command in CNC. Yay! <laughs> For once, you're in charge, Navi, of the army, not me. <laughs> I'm in charge of the Fox Army. But you can be in charge of the, um, the army of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Fictional, but it's it's you get the you get tanks. Mm. Yeah, you get tanks and everything. That's cool. 
Oh, I enjoyed General too. Me too. But I almost forgot about the game because, yeah, the, yeah, it's it's pretty forgotten. I don't think, but it's good. I need to try if it works. I'm gonna play that now. <laughs> Thanks for reminding. But it, yeah, but it probably doesn't work on Windows 11. I'm I, I, I I'm pretty sure of it. I haven't tried, but I'm pretty sure. I have a distinct memory that I did try it. Not with this PC, but like previous or previous uh, of that, and it didn't even work anymore. Hopefully, you two don't commit any war crimes while playing. When <laughs> you know, we destroy everything. <laughs> Oh man, good memories, good memories. I remember even playing the, the, uh, the, the. I love the Red Alert. Then it, I got it on PS One, and it's, it's worse, but it was still very playable. Like if you, ah, uh, yeah, if you like, like wanna play the Red Alert on. Go get an emulator for PS One and get it, get it on that. You can play it on Go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Don't give Navi the access to the Iron Cannon. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no access to the Iron Cannon. The, the, this destroy everything button. This is it, it, hidden. <laughs> Don't ask Navi. What she did to the prison set the <laughs> Oh, alright. Oh no. Yeah. Will we do something similar in <laughs> that game? <laughs> can you Oh I can I I can't remember. Can you drown people in that game? Oh no. <laughs> but I guess you can you can do sacrifices for the nuke. <laughs> You got. <laughs> I think it was called New Knuckle 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 Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right down an alley then. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy, this was a short stream. <laughs> we beat the whole game. I think it was like one hour and twenty minutes or so. One one hour and thirty minutes maybe. Oh man, it was very short. And it, it is first time playing the game. I've I've seen the. the I've had this game for a while. The the our our, our gag is um I forgot the name Revolution Re Revelation Revolution Revolution <laughs> Yeah uh, I've had it for like probably an over a year But now we got the chance to try it. We still have few homebrews we haven't tried Um Uh Shorter streams thus far, yay Probably it is, but I think we have few. Yeah, I think it is. It's you might be right. It might be the shortest. Sad it doesn't much longer. Yeah, kind of disappointing because there it was. It was good game. Uh, it was good base, good engine, good good stuff there. But yeah, it was too short. It should have gone on, on a bit longer. Yeah, that is that is probably yeah the most um, biggest complaint about the game. It was short. Hence, I don't even know how like like yeah again if you wanna buy the physical copy, you can get it. But is it worth the money? That's a, that's a separate question. If it's so short, well that's so that's the thing you will put your your value. Your your judgment on the value if, uh, if it comes to that. 
aqui. Um, oh man, there was something I wanted to talk about. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, the the other home pros we haven't tried. Uh, that was the thing. Yeah, there's a game. There's a, like unreleased game that they finished called Tensor. There's a Mega Cat Studios game called uh, Coffee Crisis. Anything else? Oh, Alma's Awakening for the NES. Yeah, we still have games. We should play these. <laughs> and there's plenty on the way. We've been backing <laughs> many of the new upcoming ones. So there's many, many more coming. And it is our thing. Well, sometimes we play just new games and stuff. Old games, but still our thing. To try the homebrew ones. New games for old systems. Yeah. Uh, and if somebody is following, we have a Discord server where I try my best to share all these uh, upcoming games. Yeah, so keep an eye out for those. Feel free to join. Talk about art, games, or whatever. <laughs> Come there and talk. Yeah. I think we will we'll be ending the stream. Here, it is a short one, but yeah, this is a nice game, nice game. Check it out, links are in the description. Again, the Discord link, if you want to talk about stuff with us, follow on stuff. Same goes for the X, I do post there, my art and um, things we're gonna stream and such. Coffee link, if you want to donate, uh, I mean help the channel, or support my art or something uh, yep check it out please don't feel like you have to donate we will be doing this no matter <laughs> if we don't get any money from this so yeah but check it out and that's about it that's about it I think so thank you for coming to the stream you guys are awesome always appreciate you guys Coming and guests, chatting with us, keeping us company for the streams. It's always appreciated. Don't know when the next time is. Uh, probably next weekend. <laughs> it's been quite busy. Oh, man. But, anyways, I'll let you guys know when we know what we stream. So, keep an eye out. And have a nice Sunday. And see you later. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.